Hi, this is Carrie Sturck with Team Aero, reporting from Wilson Field in Memphis, Tennessee, right next to the FedEx Hub. We're waiting for Wei Chen to come in, who's been traveling around the world in a single-engine aircraft. He's the first Chinese citizen to do this and the first ever single-engine to land at the Beijing airport. We're looking forward to him coming in. He should be coming in shortly. during the trip? Uh, the biggest challenge will be mental and the physical. And uh, I think a flying part is uh, you have a lot of difficulties. You, you, you get into a situation unfamiliar. Your Middle East, India, all the places have a, a different challenge. But the one thing to make sure I'm safe is to have confidence in myself mentally, uh, making calculated decision. Like Earl was mentioning, this, those decisions carry a lot more than just uh, 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 look at the situation. It, it really absorb the situation. So mentally, you have to be very confident, very strong, and do a lot of planning before the flight. Physically, and uh, as you can see, it's a 69 days, checking the hotel, check out the hotel, flying 12 hours a day. So it uh, need to be balanced all the time. Make sure you don't get sick, um, uh, don't, don't get over exhausted, and the fatigue is uh, one of the most challenging thing for piloting. So uh, just stay, stay healthy and stay fit. Great. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. How are you going to use your newfound fame for the Memphis-China relationship in the aviation sector? Um, I think um, China is uh, uh, paying a lot of attention to this fly because it's the first Chinese citizen flying around the world. And out of 1.3 billion people, I'm the first one to do that. The second thing is uh, it's the first private airplane goes through China airspace in uh, a round world trip. And also more importantly, it's the first private airplane single engine landed in Beijing Capital Airport. So with those uh, attention and with all, all the things and uh, China been paying attention for the trip, I think it's do a lot of uh, uh, future good for Memphis community. One thing, and uh, when I, whenever I had an interview, and the running story, everybody was asking where I'm from. And I, I brag about Memphis, how great the uh, community is, and what kind of opportunity we got over here. So I think that it's going to be a, a serve for the, more, the longer it goes, the more impact it can make. The people can come referring to uh, the milestone uh, for this trip. And the people, oh, Memphis, we got somebody to really 
uh, especially for the aviation industry. I think it's going to help a lot. Great. Yeah. Having gone on this epic journey, what message would you like to share? Um, the message I would share on my personal is uh, never, never, never give up your dream. I think that, that, that everybody has their own dream, big or small. But if you have a dream, don't give up. And uh, I started this dream when I was young for flying. Uh, when I was planning the trip, uh, I only had 300 hours of flying time, total flying time, less than four years. And when I started this dream, and a lot of people think it's uh, risky, um, I don't have enough experience, but you never give up. I never give it up. And along the way, getting a lot of help with the people. And then one day you will realize your, realize your dream if you don't give up. Yeah.